Hey guys, this one's going to be about the bookmarks of MetaTab. So once again, we'll make sure we've loaded our profile, which has already been done. All the details are loaded as well. Run through to the bookmarks of MetaTab. The first tab is bookmark info, and this is simply where you you'll fill in the details for your bookmark that you want to appear on the different websites. So usually it's once again handy to add the spin tax code in. Um, and just add a few different variations onto there. Uh, always make sure that you don't have the spaces in between. So obviously it's the start of the title, so you don't want to space at the start of the title. Um, so something like that. Then we'll just add some random descriptions as well. So we've we'll got a few different variations. The tags are the same as the keywords field. So anyone who's unfamiliar with the tags field, pretty much, it's asking what the keyword is. So in the example, it'll be something like that. Uh, categories, once again, go for the generic categories uh, linked to whatever you're selling um, or promoting. So Just add some generic categories in here. But you can add negative keywords again. We've discussed this in previous videos where it just helps the bookmark website sort of get you in the right category, as to speak. Um, this tab here I used only for original profile creation. It's when it's originally creating your profile on the bookmark websites. Uh, you can have it so it just adds sort of a default in there. And this is where you'll add your URL list. So you'll you can either do it's like the forum submitter, the profile submitter tab. You can add just one in there which will just add that one bookmark or you can add a multitude of different bookmark URL links in there and then just apply that to the profile and you can have it on set to bookmark random three. This helps if you've got sort of for the same keywords you've got multiple um, for the same website you've got multiple keywords so you can have different descriptions all spin text as well. You can add more spin text in there to make unique it up a little bit more as well. You just go through to the Submitter tab once you've filled in them fields and load Plague Submitter. I'll just go back and add a quick link in here. So then we'll just select a Plague site. And once again, it's a very similar process as before. You'll start to see this a lot more. Um, the process pretty much repeats itself in each one. Some have a little bit more to it, whereas others don't. But pretty much they'll always have the, the same sort of strategy involved. So once again, you register and check your mail. And usually it's the same process of waiting a few days to make sure you get all the activation emails through and then you'll go out and create your profile and add your bookmarks to it and this is the part where you'll find out which websites are going to actually let you do that and which aren't so that way you can filter your lists down and then once that's all done you can select the ones that have been successfully submitted and then hit the pinger and what I'll do is it'll use the various different Yahoo etc to ping your website in hope well ping that website and hopefully get it to index that backlink which is linking to yours and it's as simple as that so the next video will be on the blog submitter